Hi everybody, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. Well, yesterday it was Saturday and I ran over to the Dollar Tree. And I cannot wait to show you what I found. Let's see. It is a makeup case. It's funny because sometimes when I go into the Dollar Tree, I find cute little trinkets for the house or I'll find toys or even like school supplies. But this time around, I hit the beauty aisle and I found so many cute makeup, nail polishes, even this cute little bag was a dollar, if you can believe it. So what do you guys see? We open this up and see what I found. Let's do this. Ooh, I cannot wait to show you. So many cool finds. Couldn't believe it. This bag is completely filled with makeup and beauty and nail polish. So, so many different things. Whoop. And voila! Here is all of my beauty finds. I found some makeup foundation. Tons of little lipsticks. I found a smudge pot. Lots of eyeshadow, nail polish. What do you guys see? We look at this stuff one by one, see how it is, if it's good or not. Let's do it. First little goodies up are the foundations. I actually found some makeup. I couldn't even believe it because when I go to CVS or even other stores, I spend probably up to $12 to $15 for each one of these things. So this one, let's see what it is. It's a compact makeup by Color Meets. And it's a rich, smooth, natural, long wearing, blends easily. It is a little compact makeup and I cannot wait to try it. <laughs> because if it actually works good, I just can't believe how inexpensive it was. So here we go. Now, hmm, it kind of feels like a lip balm texture. Ooh, it actually is pretty soft and silky. I am actually really surprised right now. I didn't expect it to be so smooth. I thought it would be a little cakey. When I look for a good foundation, I look for coverage. I like to put my powder and blush over it, and that is really smooth. For a dollar, you just can't beat it. And it comes with a little applicator sponge, which I always use. You just dab it, put it on your nose, around your eyes. Unbelievable. The second face foundation I found was a BB cream. It's by Sassy and Chic. I've used this brand before from the Dollar Tree. I actually like it. <laughs> and I've never seen a BB cream there. So curious. This is just kind of like a little bit lighter than a regular makeup. It looks like a moisturizer with a little bit of color. Ooh, it's actually a little bit light. <laughs> but it is super smooth. I'm liking the texture, but the color is super light. It almost looks like milk. I don't know. <laughs> it looks kind of strange. So I'm not too crazy about the BB cream just because, I don't know, it's just the craziest light color. But I do like this compact makeup. And two of these for two bucks. Can't beat it. Here's another close-up if you were curious what these were. It's Benefit Cream. Multi action skincare and makeup. Moving along, I actually found some Dory and I could not pass this up. It was just so cute. Little cotton swabs, little q tips. I love this little box. It's so amazing. And I love these because sometimes when you're doing your mascara or your makeup, you can just use a little q tip and fix it up. Oh, there's Dory, Hank, and Nemo. It's kind of like a 3D box. I am just in love with this thing. <laughs> And the Q-tips are always super handy to have. Pop it right in your purse. I found two of these little sticks and I didn't read them. I just kind of like grabbed them and threw them in my basket. I was super excited. But now that I'm looking up close, I can see what they are. This is a chunky lip pencil. Retractable lip pencil. That is so, so cool. I use these all the time. And sometimes I spend like $10 for them. So for one buck, can't wait to try it. It says it feels nude. Ooh, that's the color. So, so cute. And we gotta test it. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Wow. <laughs> that is such a cool color. It's not too bright, not too light. Really the perfect lip color. Has the color of a lipstick, but it also is super shiny like a gloss. And you can just Spin it up and down. That is so, so good. I never expected it to be so creamy and smooth. Gotta get more of these. Chunky lip pencil. Here's the other one. Ooh, but this one's a little different. It's kind of silvery looking. It's an all-in-one makeup stick. <laughs> what is that? I guess maybe, hmm. It's 
read about it, this all-in-one makeup stick combines makeup application for lips, eyes, and cheeks into one versatile cosmetic pencil. Applies and blends easily with a silky smooth feel. Special formulation ensures long-lasting wear. Ooh, you can put this on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. And the color is pink satin. I've never heard of anything like this. <laughs> so, so amazing. It's all in one. Try the color. Ooh, it's a little similar to the other one, except it's a little lighter. Ooh, I like this one too. Here's another look at it, and I could definitely see how you could use this as an eyeshadow. Kind of looks like a cheek blush highlighter, and you could definitely put this on your lips. Such a great little beauty tool. Only one dollar, <laughs> three different uses. Love that one. Here's a comparison of those two colors. This is the all-in-one stick. It's really light and shiny. This one is a little darker, like a lipstick. Like them both. Ooh, and I am so excited about these cute little nail polishes. Look at this shape. They're so tiny. Ooh, and they're gel. So amazing. So we got purple. This one's kind of like a nude natural color. Teal, brown, and hot pink. Ooh. These were only a dollar each, and I'm super impressed with their gel nail polish. I don't know if they're going to work. I know when I go to the salon and they do the gel polish, it's super expensive. So let me pick a color here. Or maybe I'll do double colors. <laughs> maybe I'm going to go for this pink and turquoise. Let's try them. Here's the pink. And these little bottles are so convenient. Like if you're traveling, you can even pop them in your backpack if you can wear this at school. So little. Ooh, look at that. It really does feel like a higher end gel polish. Color is so smooth and glossy. Ooh, I like it. So that's the pink. Actually, maybe I'll just try all of them <laughs> just to see how they look. I'm so curious. Here is this turquoise, like an aquamarine color. Ooh, it's called Chill. This one was called Beam. And it's really convenient, these little holders, these little things that you hold. They're easy to grip. Ooh, this one's even better. <laughs> I like it. So we got two nails down. This is the third. Really pretty, kind of like a rose pink. And it's called Bedazzle. Ooh. I wish these bottles were just a little bigger though. <laughs> because there's not too, too much polish in here. Ooh, I like that. Really pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think it's my favorite. <laughs> Every time I try a new one, I like it more than the other. Look at that pink kind of nude, not as bright as the other ones, but it's super subtle. You can wear it to school. Now we're going to get a little more dramatic with the purple. I usually don't wear purple polish, but sometimes I do. It's called studded. Kind of looks like a grapey color. Oh yeah. It's not too light, not too dark. super cute. And the final one is the brown. Now brown I kind of wear in the fall. It just reminds me of like autumn leaves. I don't really wear it in the summer too much. And it's called gleaming. Kind of a brown maroonish. Looks like chocolate a little bit. <laughs> the color is kind of cute. Ooh, it actually kind of turns out a little bit red. Good one too. And there's all five of the little color gel nail polishes, and out of all five of these, I actually have two favorite, three favorites. <laughs> I get to pick three. I like this light pink one in the middle. Then I like this teal, but then I am liking this maroon. The pink one, I'm not super crazy about. I don't like it too too much. The purple's kind of cute. And actually, when you look at all of them together, like rainbow nails, they look super cute together too. I like them. Another thing about these is I can tell they're just almost dry already. I think that's the power of the gel polish. And while I'm at it, I might as well do the other hand. So I'm matching.
Here they are. I have these cute rainbow fingers. And last time I was at the Dollar Tree, I found this super sparkly silver. I'm gonna put a little of that over it just to make it sparkle. Here they are. Always look better with a little sparkle and glitter on them. Love it. On to the next. So many more beauty products to look at. We are hitting every makeup category with the nails. We got our foundation, some lip stuff, and we found some eyeshadow. They're both by LA Colors, and I actually kind of like that brand. It's the same one that made this lip pencil, which I love. And they have really good eyeshadow. Super inexpensive. This one looks kind of like more dramatic. We get blue, gray, lighter gray, and white. Let's try it. Oop, I don't want to ruin my nails. Ah! Okay, got it without doing any chipping. That's another thing I love about this kind of gel polish. It dries super, super fast. Cannot believe how quick that dried. Here's the four colors we have. This is like an icy white. We're just gonna swatch them. Ooh, that's not too bright. Very light. I don't like it too much. It's just barely visible. <laughs> Let's try the blue. Hopefully it's a little bit brighter. Ooh, yeah. I like that blue. You know, sometimes I do like matte eyeshadows, but most of the time I like the shimmery ones just because they show more dimension. Your eyes kind of sparkle. Here is the grayish black color. That's good for a smoky eye. And then we get the super light gray. Never seen that color actually. Kind of like it. it. Looks more like a silver, like a really, really dull silver. So there's your four colors. Out of all of these, I probably like this one the grayish silver. The blue is really pretty. The white, you can barely see it. And I don't wear this dark one too often, but that's more for like a smoky eye. Ooh, now, this palette is actually more my style, it's kind of more natural and nude looking colors. Ooh, these are gonna be good ones. And these are also matte, and if you have like a shimmery kind of clear eyeshadow, you can just put it on top of there. All right, so the first one is kind of like a topish brown one. Barely showing. Let's try this one here, it's kind of like a dark gray, a little bit like the other one. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I really like that one. It's not too dark like a black but it would definitely show up. You could put it in the crease of your eye. This one is just kind of like a nude, I don't know, it's like a light brown color. Not too crazy about that one. And this is a peachy, more natural. Super light. I have all four colors on my hand. The only one you can really see is this one here. And <laughs> the rest are so light. So I'm not crazy about this palette. It really is not good quality. Let's try the other one I found. <laughs> this is the last of the eyeshadows. I actually found this 12 color palette. These colors look a little bit better and these are not matte. They have a little shimmer to them. This is called Chic or Chic. Let's open it. Yeah, you can definitely tell these are better. You see the little silver sparkles? These ones were just so, so flat. I couldn't get any color out of them. Just, there, there was nothing to them, really. These colors kind of look cool, too. I like all of them. They're different. This one is kind of bronzy. This one is purplish. Oh, I think I'm gonna like these. So starting at the bottom. Ooh, look at that shimmery purple. <laughs> you see the difference between matte eyeshadows and sparkly ones? These are so much better. And also this one caught my eye. It's kind of like a bronzish one. Ooh, look at that. That would give you such a sunny glow. Ooh, 
I love this one. Ooh, it is so, so pretty. I think I may wear it today, actually. Look at that. It's kind of light orangey bronze. It's got all of that shimmer in it. We get a lot of different purple ones, but they're super light and subtle. You can really wear these all the time. Ooh, look at that one. It's like a lavender, kind of like an icy lavender. Really light. I think you have to put a couple layers on. So shimmery. We get this blue one down here. Such a pretty blue. I don't even know what to call this one. It's kind of like icy. Almost like a silver. Ooh, that's beautiful. <gasps> Look at that. It's almost like glowing. Moving up here. These kind of look yellow, but maybe they're going to be a little bit darker. Oh yeah, that's my color. I like that icy white one. I wear it every single day. Just highlights your eye. So, so pretty. It's funny because it looks like a buttercream yellow in this little container here, but once you put it on your skin, it's super light. So yeah, after getting three different shadow palettes, I love this one. So strange because these only had four, this had 12, but they were the same price, just a dollar each. This was so, so good. I really recommend it. And they had a couple other ones. Some were darker colors, some were kind of nudes. Gotta go back and get those. These colors are so amazing. They glow. Found a couple of lipsticks. And these are also Ellie colors. I'm starting to really like this brand. And I usually don't wear lipstick too often. I love, love, love my gloss. But sometimes, just for a little darker effect, I'll wear it. So we got this one. Ooh, it's like a hot pink. It's called Bright Pink, <laughs> super simple name. This one is kind of like a purplish color and it's called Frozen Berries. Let's try them. And I'm gonna go out of the box a little bit and start with this Frozen Berries, just because I never wear lipstick, but I don't think I'll ever wear purple, so maybe I'll like it. Got something a little different this time. Boop. My favorite lip color to wear is just like a subtle light pink gloss. Really this, <laughs> the way this looked. It's just like the perfect lip gloss color. But sometimes if you go to a party or you want to go somewhere and have your lips a little more jazzed up, the lipstick is usually better. Ooh, that does look like berries. It's so pretty. Ooh, it's actually not so bad. <laughs> I thought it would be darker. Not my favorite shade, but it is a little bit glossy. Kind of looks like a lip gloss. Here's another look at it. Not super crazy about the color, but kind of looks like a lip gloss. Let's just close this one up. Didn't like it too much and go for the bright pink. This one is a little bit more my style. I love a pink lip. I wonder if it's going to be glossy. Ooh, matches my nail. <laughs> Same color. Let's try. Whoa. Yes. This is such a cute color. Look at that. It's like a hot neon pink. Really glossy. Not something I would wear every day, but I definitely will wear this one. It looks like a lipstick. Looks kind of like a lip gloss together. Shiny. And if you want to make this even shinier, you could just put some clear gloss on there. Ooh, I love that one. And it's got vitamin E and aloe vera and rich formula glides on creamy smooth for a long lasting wear. So pretty. So I got two of these lipsticks. The Frozen Berry is not crazy about, but I'm in love with this one. And sometimes when I buy lipsticks like the Maybelline ones, they can be like 10 bucks. So for a dollar, beautiful. Can't forget your cheeks. We needed some cheek blush. And I didn't find blush, but I found this LA Colors bronzer. Now I wear bronzer every single day. It doesn't matter if it's winter or summer. I love how it gives your cheeks a sun-kissed glow. I cannot wait to try this one. I use so many different bronzers. Some are from like Sephora, some are from CVS. So if this one is good, I may stick with it. Ooh, look at that, so pretty. I could tell it's gonna be good already, <laughs> just looking at that. Ooh, and another thing I really like about this one, it's super subtle. Some bronzers are really, really just too dramatic. This one, when you blend it in, it gives you a nice glow. It has some silver shimmer to it, almost like a golden shimmer. So there we go, I found another good find. I've never tried a Dollar Tree blusher. I found the bronzer and I really like it. Boop. 
I found a little e.l.f. Eyes Lips Face Brand. Sometimes I do see these at the Dollar Tree and I found a smudge pot. I've never used one of these before and I think you could use them kind of like as eyeshadow or eyeliner. I found a pretty purple metallic color. Can't wait to see it. also a super pretty jar. I don't know. I just like the jar. It kind of looks like it could be face cream or lip gloss. So here it is. Now when you use these, the best thing to do is to take one of these little applicators here. Ooh, it kind of feels like jelly. I've never used this. There's the color. Wow. So nice. It's so creamy, so metallic. You can use this under your eye as an eyeliner. You can get a super thin brush and just line it, or you could use it as some eyeshadow and blend it in. It's kind of a dark color, but if you're going for that dramatic look, I would use this. And there's so much of it in there. I like that. Found these Sassy and Chi Cosmetic Wedges. Now, I love these. I bought these a few times at the Dollar Tree. I just wanted to share them. They are perfect for putting on makeup and foundation, or you can just put on some blush with them. They're super soft, and to tell you the truth, when I get these at CVS and other stores, they're up to like $4. So $1 is just such a good buy. Really soft. And if you're not sure what to do with these, you just get a little bit of your cream foundation, put a little on the wedge, and smooth it right onto your face. And it's a great way to apply it. And usually I don't keep these. After I use them one time, I just pop them in the trash, take on a new one. See how it just blends the makeup right in. This is perfect because you get 28 of them. So it pretty much will last you a whole month if you do your makeup once a day. Great buy. on this teeny little mascara. Look how cute this is. Another LA Colors brand. And I just thought it was the cutest little thing. I don't know if it's gonna work too great. It's got a lash building formula and the color is very black, which is the color I love to use for mascara. It just makes your lashes super shiny. Woo! <laughs> I thought that was the actual stick. It was just a picture. It makes them shiny and long. Such a cute container. This is really good to like pop in your travel bag and keep with you so you don't have to bring the one from home. Ooh, look at that. Actually, the color looks really, really good. It looks pretty thick and shiny. Cannot wait to try that. The final two beauty goodies I found, ooh, we're at the end of this haul, are the LA Color Balms. Now, these are kind of strange. It says lip color and balm in one. They look a little bit like baby lips, but I'm just confused about this one. <laughs> it looks like a foundation stick that does not look like a lip gloss color. Let's open it. I've been waiting to open this one. Ooh, and it's called Swoon. Here's the color. No, that doesn't look like lip gloss. Really, really looks like cream foundation or concealer. You can see these two colors are almost identical. I just don't get it. It's color bomb. Let's see. I wonder what color this would give your lips. Ew! <laughs> this would make your lips super pale and dull. I don't know. I keep looking at this and it says moisturizing lip color. But this does not look like lip color. It looks like face makeup. So if I was ever going to use this, I think I would use it under my eyes as like a concealer. That's a weird one. It's a second little one that reminds me of a baby lips, but this one definitely has a normal color to it. It's called Wham. <laughs> it's kind of orangey, but it looks more like a lip gloss. I don't know. It looks more glossy with color to it. Here it is. Ooh. <laughs> Kind of strange, I'm not crazy about the orange color. But if you rub it in, kind of looks pretty. I just love this little container. It just looks so, so cute. But out of these two color bombs, I'm not liking them too much. This didn't look like lip color. This was a little too orangey. Boop. Alrighty guys, so here's all the makeup lined up together. Some of these I like, some of them I didn't. Some of them I'll definitely buy them again. I love the nail polishes. They dried super easy. The color is really pretty. And if I had to pick three of my absolute favorite things, my first one, of course, is this chunky lip pencil. I just cannot get over how creamy the color is. 
second one is this other LA Colors lipstick blush and eyeshadow that was such a pretty color too and my third favorite I have to say is this eyeshadow palette I loved all the colors they had so much shine to them the three things that I didn't like <laughs> I didn't like more than three of them but the worst ones was probably this BB cream it was such a weird color it kind of looked like milk I didn't like it I did not like these two palettes. The colors were super dull. Oop, that's three. And I guess I'll pick a fourth one. I didn't like this lip balm. It was the weirdest color. It would make your lips so strange looking. Oop, time to pack it all up in my Dollar Tree makeup bag. This bag is super cute. Serves its purpose and you were just one dollar. You cannot beat it. It's got those cute little lipsticks on there. That's another thing. When you go to buy these little makeup bags, they're super expensive at all the stores. They also have this in like a black print. I'll put in my foundation. I love that. And my little Dory Q-tips. Pop those in there. My favorite lip gloss, this color stick. Put in my bronzer. And this lovely eyeshadow palette. I'll put these two in even though I didn't like them too much. <laughs> Just to put some more makeup in there. My color bomb stick. Put some of these little makeup wedges. The BB cream. Maybe I'll give that to my friend. She may like that. It wasn't my style too much. <laughs> and then I have these two lipsticks. I love the pink one. The purple was okay, but not so great. My little purple smudge pot. I have my teeny weeny mascara and my gel nail polishes. These were the best. They were so good. Gotta go back and get more of those. I loved most of the things. Such a great buy and I cannot wait to go back and see what else they have. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.